Are you a big fan of anime where the MC starts out weak but then becomes overpowered? Would you like to know some more about some of the best overpowered MCs out there in anime? Well you're in luck as this is a place to come to find out. Welcome back to Comet's Top 5s where today we'll be counting down our picks for a top 5 anime where the weak MC becomes overpowered. If you want to see more content like this make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and click that bell icon for notifications on upcoming content. With that said, let's jump right into our top 5 picks, shall we? Number 5. Chivalry of a Failed Knight now we had to start off this list with Asterisk Wars, I mean Chivalry of a Failed Knight. As it follows, Iki Kuragame, an f rank blazer who is dubbed the nickname The Worst One due to his low magical abilities. This doesn't stop Iki though. As the story goes on, we find out that he has the ability to break the chains of fate, which allows him to increase his magic by training. This is an ability no other blazer possesses. Not only that, but he can double his physical power as a body enhancement. Not to mention his device in Tetsu, a raven black katana, can literally allow him to increase his ability a hundredfold for a one second strike. In doing so, it shuts down all of his other five senses and he almost dies as a result. But nonetheless, it's an insane ability. It is with this persistence, despite being considered one of the worst, that he is able to beat and gain the support of Stella Vermilion, an a rank blazer and a princess at Hagen Academy. Together, they enter the Seven Star Sword Art Festival to once again break the chains of fate that bind them both. If you want to root for an underappreciated underdog, then Iki from Chivalry of a Failed Knight is the way to go. Number 4 Charlotte. So have you ever wanted to inhale some magic dust and gain superpowers? Well in the world of Charlotte, every 75 years a comet passes Earth, scattering dust debris that if inhaled gives teenagers the ability to manifest powers. Of course, in this anime, the MC, Yu Odesaka, has the ability to possess someone for 5 seconds. And let's just say he doesn't use it for good. In an attempt to live a carefree life, he gets caught mistreating his ability by now Tomori, who forces him to transfer to Hoshinomori Academy and join the student council. They then ensure the safety of all abilities users by hunting down those who misuse their powers. You even learn that his true ability is actually to steal the powers of people he possesses. So of course throughout the story we get to see you use his powers for good and try to change the events of this world that threaten to take away everything and everyone he cares about. It is one hell of a ride with a little romance sprinkled in there so don't forget to give it a watch. Number 3 World Break Aria of a Curse for a Holy Swordsman World Break, Aria of a Curse for a Holy Swordsman is an anime that we had to mention for this list, as it has a really awesome twist to the reincarnation aspect of the anime. In this world, students who have special powers are considered saviors and attend Akane Academy to learn how to use their abilities to fight back against the monsters of this world known as metaphysicals. These saviors are unique as they have awakened memories of their prior lives with the abilities to either manifest weapons or use magic. We get to follow Haimura, who has a unique ability to awaken two of his past lives. One where he was a swordmaster prince, and the other where he was a magician and king of the netherworld. This gives him the ability to not only manifest weapons, but also to use magic. With these insanely powerful and unheard of abilities, he is tasked to join the striker unit, an elite unit of saviors that fight off the metaphysicals. What he doesn't know is that there is a black cloud hanging over all of his reincarnations, and with that, he must face his past to protect his future. If you want to see how it turns out, make sure to give this anime a watch. Number 2. Rising of a Shield Hero Now of course we can't have an overpowered MC list without Naofumi from Rising of a Shield Hero. Not only in the beginning was Naofumi betrayed by the other heroes, but he was also considered one of the weakest heroes of the four. What the other heroes would soon come to learn is that Naofumi's persistence in the face of that adversity made him one of the strongest heroes. Not only did he not become complacent as a hero, but he also saw the world for what it actually was, which allowed him to build his strength as a shield hero. You would think a shield hero up against the waves of catastrophe wouldn't be enough, right? Well you'd be surprised just how strong Naofumi truly gets. Two seasons into the anime and he's already stronger than almost anyone in the show. And the funny thing is, he's not done growing in power yet as a shield hero. If you're looking for an anime that's a little darker and grittier, but has a really good story and protagonist who rises above his circumstances, Rising of a Shield Hero is the way to go. Now we can't have a top 5 list without some honorable mentions. Don Maki now some of you may be wondering, how exactly does Belle Cornell fit onto our list for anime where the weak MC becomes overpowered? Well let me explain. This anime follows Belle Cornell, a rookie adventurer in the city of Arario. Because this city is full of gods looking to experience life in the mortal world, they form groups known as Familia. Now why does Belle make it onto our list? Well through the anime we get to see Belle and Hestia grow their Familia. We also get to see Belle rank up faster than almost any other adventurer before him, due to his double S and triple S stats. He not only levels up quickly, but he is also able 
able to unlock some insane abilities along the way. I mean, at his current rank level of four, he can easily take on a level five opponent. His strength far reaches that of his current levels, and the fact he ranks up so quickly, coupled with his crazy speed and agility, makes him an adventurer worthy of our list. Dragnar Academy. Although you may not consider Ash Blake an overpowered MC just yet, he was worthy of making our honorable mentions because of some of the insane abilities he has in the anime. In this world, citizens are given star brandings, giving them the abilities as breeders to share a life force with a par and linking them to the astral flow. This means only the dragons born of the breeder's essence may ride them. What makes Ash Blake so different is despite this fundamental rule of this world, he is able to ride any par he wants without consequences, making him one of the only people in the world capable of doing so. With this ability and his short temper, due to the fact he hasn't received his par yet, he is considered the problem child of On Sullivan Dragnar Academy. Despite this, he is eventually granted a par named Echo, but she's a little different from the rest of the dragons as she has a human form, a dragon form, and a whole lot of attitude. On top of that, she can also share her power with Ash, giving him some pretty insane abilities. If you're looking for an MC that gets punched a lot by the other female characters of the show, Ash is your guy. Number 1. Arfaretta. It should be no surprise that Arfaretta, from Commonplace to World's Strongest, takes the cake for number one on our list. This is an Isekai anime that follows a group of students who are summoned to another world to become legendary heroes. This particular anime follows Hajime Nagamo, who is given the basic ability of transmutation, while the rest of the class obtained stronger and more useful abilities, or so they thought. While the heroes were on a boss fight in a dungeon, Hajime was betrayed by one of his fellow classmates who wanted him out of the way. This caused him to fall off the bridge into the deepest levels of the dungeon. Feeling betrayed, instead of calling it quits, Hajime uses his anger to survive by eating the monsters on the lower levels and using his transmutation abilities to make weapons from his world. Not only does he master the ability of transmutation, but he's able to become something more than human, on account of him eating and absorbing powers from the monsters. On his journey for revenge, he falls in love with a vampire and puts together a party against his will. He even gains a mermaid daughter along the way. I recommend giving Arfaretta a watch, especially if you're looking for a somewhat comedic revenge story with a super overpowered and broody MC. Well, that's our picks for the top five anime where the weak MC becomes overpowered. What did you think of our top five? What MCs would you have added or changed? You can let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget if you want to see more content like this to make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon for notifications on upcoming content as it comes out. As always, thanks for tuning in to Comments Top 5s and I will see you on our next Top 5 video.